let's look for another game. That last one, I guess he kind of knew because I, I was starting to do the math to see whose priority would be faster, his talent flames or my S, I mean, or my um, Caracostas. Crazy fucking prediction with the Vaporeon, man. Crazy. That could have turned horrible in some other case, but thankfully it didn't. Um, ballsy plays like that are what'll get this game, this team through. But right now I'm seeing all these Pokemon. I'm seeing the small gun laundry mat once again. One of the biggest problems in the game right now. <clears throat> hmm. He doesn't have a spinner or something to get. Well, wait, no, he has a defogger. Damn. Like, everyone comes with something. Then again, I have Blastoise, so, you know. Can't be mad. Let's go in there with. I don't know. The Rotom always bothers me. And he forfeits. Why? Alright, then, um. I guess more points for me, you know, that's fine. I'm playing this for fun, you know, I'm playing for fun, but you know, I, it wouldn't hurt to ladder up a little bit, considering I fell so far using this damn crazy ass team. Okay, here we go. So now if we have a setup, he's not gonna be able to get those shits away. I'm looking at, okay, let's see. So, um, Conkledur, we'll definitely, what will we need to take out Conkledur? Oh, someone says, hi, Etika, sup? I only have like two, I only have like 3,000 views on my Pokemon Showdown videos each, and yet there's so many people that recognize me. Like, how the hell is that even possible? But okay, so Conkodur is always a problem for this team. Always. I'm just gonna have to hammer this guy down. My Wounds Caught now has Knockoff. Wait, no, no, it has Taunt now. Yeah, I always switch that move between Taunt, Stun Spore, and Knockoff. But um, okay, so right now he has a lot of Levitators, man. I know for a fact that Mammoth Swords Earthquake can kill. Um, uh, Age of Slash with no defense investment, but we gotta hope that we get Age of Slash in the first turn. I'm thinking Charizard's gonna come in on the first turn. I'm thinking he is. I wanna play careful, so you know, I'm gonna go into Caracosta just in case Charizard does come in. Oh, right, he goes straight into Conqueror. That's fine. He's probably gonna go for that knockoff. Um, you know, it sucks that we gotta give up Whimsicott's item already, but fuck it. We, got, we do what we gotta do. He's gonna go for the knockoff, of course. And um, he didn't do too much damage. Okay, so let's go for the Leech Seed now. Since he doesn't have something to boost up his attack, he's probably not going to be able to kill us with one hit. Yeah, we were able to take that pretty well. And he doesn't have recovery, and he doesn't have anything that can instigate recovery, so we're pretty good so far. Let's sub up. Let's just wear his HP down as much as we can, you know? We do have Taunt. But I don't think it'll help us too much in this game, considering that most of his team is like really offensive Pokemon. You know, Latios, um, Charizard, yeah, Age of Slash, you know, Bisharp. We'll probably need Blastoise to kill Age of Slash and Bisharp. I don't know. I mean, I feel like Blastoise, because he has the Aura Sphere for Age of Slash, and he has, I mean, the Aura Sphere for Bisharp, and he has the Dark Pulse for Age of Slash, so. Alright, so he's going into his Charizard now. That is threatening. What a scary fucking team. Like, really, man. These guys are fucking. Damn. But, alright, so we're gonna go for the Leech Seed now, just to see if we can get off some extra damage on this Charizard. I wonder which type he's gonna be. Okay, why? The most popular one. And we missed the Leech Seed! Why not? <laughs> why the fuck not? Oh man, alright, this sucks. But... Damn. Do we have to give up a Pokemon here? It's like we gotta give up a Pokemon. This guy's coverage is off, off the chain right now. Man, I would go into Galvantula and hit him with a thunder, but that sun, it's gonna be so inaccurate. It's not even worth it. We need Whimsicott for what? I don't know. We don't really seem like we need Whimsicott too much. Maybe except for Latios. Maybe to just take their dragon move and then to go for Leech Seed. But I don't know. Whimsicott doesn't seem like he's gonna be doing too much for us in this game. So, damn, this sucks. You know what? The most we can do is keep him on the air slashes, perhaps, you know? Damn, like even if Conqueror comes in, he's not gonna be taking too much damage from the Caracosta's water moves, you know? So I'm kinda screwed here. Whatever, we, we gotta just suck it up. Let's just go for fucking Let's go for Elise. Let's just get some extra damage off of him. It's not gonna do anything at the end of the turn, though. Damn man, this what a threatening ass team. These Pokemon man. Alright, so let's go for a shell smash now. And um, we should be able to either threaten him out or or hit him with a fucking um, oh man yeah that that solar beam fucking decimated us. 
We better not miss the goddamn, um, we better not miss the rock slide, man. That would just be horrible. <laughs> I'm predicting Congodary to come in too, so I'm just like, all right, you know what? Fuck it, let's go for the waterfall. It should be able to kill the Charizard at this point, and if it doesn't, then now I know it won't kill Charizard, but um, let's go for the waterfall. Okay, thankfully it does kill him. Um... I'm predicting Conqueror. Of course Conqueror is going to come in. I mean, the priority mock punch. It, it, it's easy to see. Okay, so it's Age Slash. This is still bad. <laughs> it's still horrible. I don't like it. It's either way. But, um... I don't know. Maybe we can go for um, Embor, since he'll be able to resist pretty much everything this guy wants to do. Yeah, let's go into Embor. Fuck it. He'll be able to take whatever this guy wants to do. Shadow Sneak. That's not a problem. I wonder if he has something for us, you know? I wonder. I really, really wonder. This is the thing, man. With the way my team is, since it's not exactly the top, the, the most top of the top tier Pokemon, you know, it doesn't have the best coverage and all that, I either gotta play extremely risky and risk getting my ass blown up, or play it safe and get worn down, you know? Right now, I don't know, it's pretty obvious. Like, this guy probably doesn't know I have Sucker Punch. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. I'm banking on him not knowing, though. So, if... If we go for a Flare Blitz, he's obviously going to King Shield. He's probably going to King Shield, but then I'll reveal Sucker Punch if he does. But I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. He's going to King Shield. Okay, that's fine. We didn't lose any attack because, you know, obviously, King Shield. Let's go into Blastoise now. I'm feeling like this is a solid switch. Okay, he's going to go straight into Gliscor. That's fine. Let's Mega Evolve. And then go for the water spouts. <laughs> I, although, I gotta admit, now that I'm getting a little bit higher with the rank, I'm fighting these tough teams, I'm thinking about switching water spout out. Just because, you know, a lot of times I don't get my sticky web up. I, if I don't get it up, and even if I do, sometimes the Pokemon are faster than me anyway. So what's the point of it, you know? I wanna say that he's probably going to freaking... He know. Wait, this guy knows my team. He watched my videos before. So he knows I got water spout. He's probably gonna go straight up for the attack. Let's go for the Dark Pulse. Okay, and um, his Conqueror, I know this thing is going to have Drain Punch, it's going to be able to fucking do a lot of damage to us, but let's go for the Water Spot anyways, it should do a lot of damage. Look at that, 68%, let's go! And we took that really well. We'll be able to kill him with an R Sphere now, I think. Probably going to go for the Mach Punch. And um, R Spear, goodbye Conqueror. Alright, so, alright, so Blastoise, he's able to take Conqueror's hits, but... He's got to be in Mega Form. I can't just switch in regular Blastoise and expect him to take those hits like that. Considering he's a defensive Pokemon, but it's just not... It's not practical. It's not practical in the slightest. Now, I'm seeing Bisharp, and I'm wa I want to go into Embor because I know he'll be able to take the Sucker Punch really well. He'll be able to take it really well, so you know what? Yeah. He's going to go for the knockoff. Shit. Knocked off our life orb. I want to go for the Hammer Arm now. But... The rest of his Pokemon resisted, so what's the point of going for the hammer on? I want to go for the Flare Blitz, but Gliscor will come in, which is pretty damn obvious. It's, too, it's so obvious, maybe I can play around it, you know? Maybe I can play around that. Gliscor is going to come in. I know he is. This guy doesn't want to risk it. He knows his Bisharp can't kill me at this point. He knows it. Let's go into... I want to go into Mamoswine predicting Gliscor, but damn it! This is so fucking tough! Ah, this is a risky play, I gotta play correctly. If I was him, what would I do? If I was him, I would say, oh, okay. I won't be able to kill his Embor in one hit with the Sucker Punch. I won't be able to. And he's gonna be able to kill me, no problem. Let me go into Gliscor, who's my physical wall to tank these hits. He's gonna go into Latios. Alright. And now, we are in somewhat of a good position. I don't know, I mean, will his Latios be able to kill me? Probably. Probably fucking glee. Go for the Ice Shard, fuck it, do a lot of damage. Damn, 85%, let's go! Psy Shock, we'll be able to take that, no problemo, no problemo, let's go, let's go! Now, if he has Latinos out there, Latinos! La Latinos probably wants to switch out, maybe? Or maybe he's just like, oh, he's already half dead anyways. But no, Latinos, he's already, he, he, why don't I just let him die anyways? Would I say that? I know the Ice Shard's there. 
he might want to go into his Gliss score. No, 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 of course not. Of course, why would he want to go into his Gliss score, dumbass? But, um, he might want to go into Aegis Slash or Bishard to take the Ice move and then retaliate with the Shadow Sneak. He might want to do that! <laughs> he might! Fuck it! Yo! Good prediction! Let's go! One hit KO! Let's go, baby! These are the craziest predictions I've ever made in my life! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! That was the ballsiest play I've ever made! <laughs> well, not... But I mean, I, I told you guys, with the way my Pokémon are, I don't have the convenience of being able to make whatever move I want, you know? I, d I don't have that convenience, because... I mean, the people I'm battling, they're using Pokémon that are clearly... Um, a bit more viable in terms of like playing competitively, you know, they they can here's the way I see it with the Pokemon that he's using He can afford to make a misplay. He can afford it because you know He's not gonna be punished as hard because his Pokemon have really good coverage really good coverage of typing as well and really great moves Well, so he doesn't get punished as much for making a misplay if I make a misplay with the Pokemon I'm using I get fucking punished so I gotta play on top of my stuff as long as possible this guy can still win this game. I'm really fearing the fucking Latio, so I'm just going to, um... I don't want to lose Mamoswan. I really don't, because he's pretty much everything against these last two Pokemon. So, I'm thinking maybe going to Caracosta. Let's go into Caracosta, sacrifice him. You know, it's pretty much a snack wrap anyways. So, um... Yeah, you know, let's go for the Aqua Jet. Let's just deal some general good damage to him. But then again, Bishop has really good defense, so, you know, I'm, I didn't expect that to do too much. And he has leftovers, too. That's kind of better than Life Orb, because... Whew! Oh, Lord. I want to go into Embor now. I want to go into Embor and to just hit him with a Flare Blitz, you know? I really, really, really do. But then he might predict that and go into his Gliscor, and all the recoil damage will fuck me up the ass. Man, this is the riskiest shit I've ever done in my life. This is the riskiest shit I've ever done in my life. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna tell you guys my chain of thought right now. Embor, if I go for the Flare Blitz and try to kill him, he can either stay in and Sucker Punch and die, because he knows the Sucker Punch won't be able to kill me, or that, that'll be the most optimal thing. Or he can go into Gliscor and take up the um, Flare Blitz, and all the recoil will fuck me, and then I'll pretty much have... Embor won't be able to take a hit from Bisharp if I'm in this situation again after this. And then I won't have something to take the Sucker Punch, because the Sucker Punch will be able to kill everybody from the range that they are right now. This Sucker Punch is dangerous, man. It's fucking dangerous. I can see him going into Gliscor. I can see it coming. I can smell it coming. But it's so obvious. Maybe if I... Oh, damn it, man. I want to go for the Flare Blitz. I really want to go for that Flare Blitz. It'll do some damage, but if Gliscor comes in, then I'm fucked. Or I can double predict here and predict him going for the Flare Blitz. I mean, I can predict him going for Gliscor and then going to Galvantula to go for the Hidden Power Ice. Or to go for Mamoswine. Fuck it, fuck it. Yeah, alright, yeah, we, we kind of just kind of just put ourselves in a bad position. But then again, I should be able to still live a Sucker Punch from that range gonna go for the earthquake. I know he's gonna go for that earthquake. Damn it. He still got Blastoise, you know, last resort. He got Avantula. Ah oh, man, this is not good. We played, we misplayed there. Let's go into Galvantula. Fuck it. You should be able to take an earthquake. You should be able to take an earthquake. Okay, he's gonna go for the toxic. This is fine. So now, I'm seeing this as an opportunity to go for our Hidden Power Ice, but he might protect and then he'll know, well, he has Hidden Power Ice, so then let's go for it anyways. He's going to protect, he's going to know we have Hidden Power Ice, and then um, we are going to, now that he knows we have Hidden Power Ice, he'll probably go into Gliscor. I mean, he'll probably go into his, um, to his um, Bisharp. Man, we are, we are about to do some crazy predictions here. We're about to do some crazy predictions here. Um, let's go into Embor to go counteract his Bisharp. Oh no, he predicted that. Fuck. All right. Well, that sucks for us. Um, let's go for Mamoswine now. 
Will we be able to go for the Ice Shard and finish this thing off? We'll be able to. Unless Bishar comes in. Um, Ice Shard him. Fuck it. No, no, no. Earthquake. Oh my god. Um. What if the Bisharp switch isn't coming? This is 50-50 right now. Yeah, it's 50-50 right now. It's all about what kind of fucking prediction am I going to Which prediction is correct? Is he going to switch or is he not going to switch? It's like, what is he going to do? I just don't know. At this point, I leave it to the gods, man. I leave it to the gods. Um. Oh, man. It's all on chance. He's gonna protect. Okay, he's gonna protect. Now he knows I went for the earthquake, predicting the Bishop to come in. I'm gonna go for the earthquake again. I feel like if I go for the earthquake again, I'll be able to fucking. No, 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 but then he was gonna know I'm gonna go for the earthquake again. Okay, I'm just gonna. It's, at this point, it's like, fuck it. I'm just gonna fucking go for the ice shard. Fuck it. Oh, we got him, but it's not gonna be able to kill him. Yeah, all right, yeah, that's it. It's done. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> okay, well, well, then maybe it's not done, per se. I don't know, maybe maybe it's not done. Um, Let's go for Gargantula. Him power ice, this bitch. He's gonna protect. Yeah, this guy, Gliscor, has too much guiding power. You know, we lost a lot of the 50-50s there. We lost a lot of that shit, so... Whatever, now let's go into Blastoise. You know, since he's probably gonna go into, um... Uh... Gliscor is a Pokemon for bitches? Like, come on, man, I'm using, I'm using Whimsicott. Yeah, that was a close game, though, man. That was a, that was a crazy close game. Yeah, that was a cool game. But the, the camera's about to run out of... It only records for 30 minutes, and then it stops. Ridiculous. Anyway, let's, let's hurry this up, man. This shit is about to die, man. Um, Aura Sphere. Fuck it. We live the sucker punch. Holy shit! Whoa. Maybe the game. All right. So now, okay. So here's the situation right now. Blastoise managed to live the sucker punch from from Bisharp. That's why I said earlier in the game, it's a damn good thing he didn't have life form, because Blastoise managed to live the sucker punch. Mega Blastoise is more bulky than I gave it credit for. It lived the sucker punch from Bisharp, and we killed that thing. Now he has Gliscor left and Latios left, and Latios and Gliscor, they pretty much will get destroyed here, I think, by Galvantula's Hidden Power Ice, so I gotta really hope and pray that I'll be able to do this. I'll be able to pull this off. Let's go into Galvantula. Let's just go for this Hidden Power Ice. You know, you never know when the game's over. It's never over till it's over. You better take this as a lesson. Just Even when you think, the I thought I was done. My dumb, I thought I was done, you know? You never know when the game is over. You never fucking know when the game is over. And there we go. We won that one. That was insane. Insane battle. Like, that was crazy. That was insane. Oh, man. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's always... Always choice in my videos. That was crazy! Oh, shit! Yo, that was insane. Great game. Shout out to LMBW3. That was that was amazing. That was amazing. Oh man, that was crazy, man. That very good game. Woo! I'll wow. <laughs> oh man. Progress, bitch. 